Welcome to another day with cooking with Anston. Nah, screw that. Let's just make a coconut creme flan. Super easy, slightly dense, but super creamy, satisfying all your needs during isolation, which is getting fat. Now we're gonna add our coconut milk, which is three quarter cups. But make sure guys that your coconut milk is completely mixed in, so the cream and the water is completely mixed in so it's not separated. Then to finish it off, add in your condensed milk. Now, um, if you don't want to add any dairy, make sure you can use con uh, coconut condensed milk which you find in specialty stores, but also you could just make it with um, coconut milk and honey or maple syrup. So once your caramel's ready, put that into your moulds. Um, I think my mould's about four centimetres across, um, five centimetres deep. Um, he has no idea what the size of his dish is. So once your caramel's done, give it a bit of a swirl before it completely sets. I've done mine. It's one of those. <laughs> Here's what I prepared earlier moments. Um, and then when that's done, you can actually start your mixture. I have another beautiful I prepared earlier. Um, got my mixture going, so I'm just gonna let this sit at room temperature for about 15-20 minutes till it sets really well. While that's happening, boil your water, get your oven going, um, and I'll show you the next step. But before we go with the caramel. So I like mine to be slightly bitter because the mixture is quite sweet with the condensed milk and the coconut milk, unless you're using um, plain milk. So I like mine to be a tad bitter. What you can do is use a um, wooden spoon while your caramel is being made to just put some poke it at the end, get some on the end there, let it cool for about a few seconds and taste it. If you like it to be bitter, go for this sort of dark amber color if not go for a sort of a lighter um, shade but this really works well with the sweet coconut mixture so that has set completely look at that yeah that's how you want it to be that was me like trying to chip it off i don't know why i'm just crazy so we'll we'll keep that in my little i use this as like a roasting slash Everything tin at the moment. It's kind of gone. It's because of, I don't know what I made in there, but I made something. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour our mixture. Pour in our boiling water. And take this just under halfway. That's just the sugar just cracking up. It's cold and you're adding something hot in there now. Yeah, so that's just under halfway. Here we are. Now it's in there. Preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes before we start checking it every five to 10 minutes to make sure it has that perfect water. One eternity later. We're gonna do a quick check of this now. So it's been 40 minutes. Yeah, that needs about another 10 to 15 minutes, probably 20. So we'll check this every 10 minutes now. Hey guys, it's been another 10 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, my glasses are all fast up. Uh, oh, oh, this too. Yep, that's better. Yeah, probably another 
10 minutes and we'll round it up to an hour and then we'll take them out. One hour later. So guys, it's been an hour now. So let's switch it off and take these babies out. So let me show you again if I take it out and how it looks and how it's meant to look when you take it out. Can you see the slide wobble in there? That's what you need. So before the first, like before the last 10 minutes when we had a first look at it, it was a massive wobble. Now, it's just a very slight wobble. So what's gonna happen now is that this will continue cooking. So carefully, because it's super hot, take it out, let it sit at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes before you put it back into the fridge or you put it in the fridge till it completely cools down overnight. So that was the recipe for the coconut creme flan. And I don't know why I did that accent, but I just felt like doing it. Um, it is actually a super easy recipe. All you have to do is mix the ingredients, put it into a bowl, put in that bit of caramel if you need, or super sweet caramel, whatever way you decide to go. Bake it. 30 minutes, make sure you check it for a wobble and then check it every 10 minutes for an hour and take it out when it has a slight wobble. Cool it, fridge it, oh, I wanna eat one now. Um, and then, using a really sharp knife, just go against the glass to, I mean, the ramekin to loosen it and then flop it over onto a dish or just eat it out really, whatever, whatever you prefer, because it's amazing. Clogs your arteries with all the coconut milk, I just got an email but anyways try that out let me know like comment subscribe do all the things you do on instagram and follow me see you next time bye